walk, I'ma walk that walk. I only speak facts. None of these bitches is seeing me, and that's just that I don't that. Stay down ten toes, I'm a real bitch. I don't play around, I walk in and kill shit. Big cubing on my neck, cause a whole brick. Made myself a boss, now I'm a rich bitch. I'm a rich bitch. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Destiny Ronica, and I am back with another fucking video so as you guys see that it's hot and thumbnail today we have another freaking story time on the time that my mom tried to run over my boyfriend <laughs> so I don't wanna turn it, i'm gonna keep y'all like this so before we get into this video, guys, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and turn on the post notification bell so you can get notified every time you get a lot of video. And don't forget to become one of my best friends because I love all my best friends and all my best friends love me. And that's on who and that's on what? Somebody pissy pamper wearing that is grandmama. Period. As y'all can see, a girl got her real hair out or whatever. It's not giving what I wanted to give. I don't have no curls in it right now. But yeah, just a little low pony action. Or whatever, but head on Debo. Debo lot it. Got more head than you got body. But anyway, yeah. So we're gonna get straight to this video. So if you watched my last story time that I did on my ex-boyfriend, we named him Pod. This is gonna be another story time on Pod. So this was what was this? I'm gonna say this was 11th grade, but I think this was 11th grade. I think over the summer yes so like i said i was dating this boy named pa we started talking the end of 10th grade and i actually broke up with my boyfriend for him and i'm gonna do a story time on that too we're gonna get into that but that might be my next one but anyway we had been friends since we was like seventh grade. I had been calling him my brother or whatever. Literally, y'all. I had already already been attached to this boy hip. Like, literally, my best fucking friend. Like, every day he was in my house. Like, that was just my, my ace bone coon. My ride or die or whatever. So, anyway. We started talking. I broke up with my boyfriend for him or whatever. And I got with him. At the end of... No, I'm thinking like I'm in college. It's not. It was. It was like he dropped the book. I can't tell y'all that. This is gonna be another video. But long story short, we got together 11th grade. I was gonna say at the end of 10th grade, but I'm thinking about college. You know how the semesters be. Yeah, no, it wasn't like that. It was 11th grade because we got together in January, so it was like the beginning of 2015. And we got together and we was 11th grade. So yeah, yeah, we was 11th grade, 2015. So, yes, we had been together. So, I think it was fast forward, like, to the summertime. He had already been cheating on me, y'all, with the girl. I did a story time. I forgot what I named her. But he had already been cheating on me or whatnot. And my little dumb ass was still just staying around. Like, I don't. <laughs> anyway, yeah, he had already been cheating on me and stuff or whatever. So, I'm thinking, like, okay, school going to be out. It's going to be better. Like, you not going to be cheating on me. That's my folks you didn't do like school can now give him even more opportunities to cheat on you like summertime now this nigga's gonna be outside and maybe was he outside he was outside so yeah i was really dumb so yeah he was cheating on me and stuff but you know in my head it's like you like my best friend so i'm gonna try to stick it out i'm gonna try to work it out you know because we like this like you lost like at the end of the day you're my friend baby i don't think like that no more i don't give a fuck you're not gonna be cheating on me fuck that friendship relationship all that like period but anyway this one day or whatever it's this other dude we're gonna okay i'm gonna get a girl new night and i'm gonna try to remember the night because she gonna come up in most of the time huh? just do the day in most she gonna come up in other story times or whatever and then the dude which was her boyfriend at the time so we got my boyfriend his name is pod we're gonna name the other boy yeah it'd be so hard for me to come over now okay we're gonna it's gonna be pod we're gonna name the other boy ben and we're gonna name her sarah i think i named her sarah no we're not gonna name her sarah because i think i named somebody sarah we're gonna name her pod ben we're gonna name her anna so yeah, so basically over the summer, I was cool. We I wasn't cool with Anna anymore. We had I had you know we cause like I said we was friends, but I fell out with her or whatever. 
and I had clicked up with Aries. I ain't gonna say clicked up, but me and Aries grew close to each other because like I said, we stayed in the same town and we, we started kicking it and being around each other the summer. So, it was me, Aries, and Ben. It was like, it was cool or whatever. And Ben dated Anna and I dated Pod, and we all knew each other, right? So, boom, one day, it was, Summertime, I don't know what I was doing. I, I, I just always walked to Aries' house, or she used to always walk to my house. And then, you know, Ben would probably pull up on us because he stayed like right across the street type shit. So, yeah, we was chilling. Like, we just be chilling and stuff like that. I hadn't heard from Pod, and he hadn't heard from Anna. But, I mean, and Anna stayed in like another town, but it was like 10 minutes down the road, literally. It wasn't nowhere. But, I had heard from him or whatever. I think he had supposed to be came and see me or came and pick me up. He was supposed to be come do something that he did not do, right? And he had this thing where, like, I don't know. He had just stopped texting me. But I wasn't really thinking too much of it. I wasn't really just tripping for real because she, you know, I was with my friends. So, boom, Ben, I think I was with Aries at the time. Hold on, y'all. My shoes just got delivered. So, I think I was with Aries and it was probably going on nighttime because, yeah, I think it was going on nighttime. And over the summer, it don't get dark. It, it get dark like 8, 8.30. So, it was going on nighttime, whatever. So, boom, I was with Aries. We probably just chilling, walking around, stuff like, you know, stuff we did over the summer. So, then being pulled up on us or whatever. And long story, basically, he was telling me, like, um, Anna and Pod was together today. And I'm like... What you mean they was together today like what what do you mean they was together like when why where they was at so i think um ben ended up going through i think he ended up to go see anna or whatever i don't know i can't really remember but all i know is he had ben had the messages that basically let him know that pa pulled up on anna right they was kicking it they chilling and shit why he's supposed to be coming to get me type shit so Y'all already know, and I got that information in, like, he sent it to me. I don't know. He sent it to me or something. Matter of fact, he did not pull up on me. He inboxed me and told me these, right? He inboxed me and told me that my boyfriend and his girlfriend was together. No! God, please, no! 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 So, when he told me this, I I, was, I think I had told him, I'm like, I'm finna go home, because... You know how you get that, that feeling in your throat, you want to cry like your heart dropping to your ass and get the little feeling in your throat and you trying your best to keep your composure. Yeah, that was me. And I was like, I need to go home because <laughs> I was going to cry like y'all. My feeling was so hurt for one because I was supposed to be my friend at the end of the day. Like, even though we're not cool anymore, we're not cool because you're talking to my nigga. You're supposed to be my friend. You the main person that told me to talk to him. Pie, on the other hand, bitch, you supposed to be my best friend. Like you been knowing me, like you been, you know, you know everything about me. You been around me. You come, like all this time since like seventh grade. All these years, like we've been like this. I'm calling my brother, my best friend, all this shit. And you come telling me you want to be with me. You like me, and just to do me dirty for a motherfucker. That, yeah, that's how I was feeling. So my feelings were very much hurt. I was very much on the verge of crying. So boom, I end up walking to my mama's house or whatever. And I go in my room and I started crying. I'm like, <laughs> I was talking about, I was crying hard and shit. Like, I'm. But anyway, yeah, so I'm just crying, 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 crying. So I guess my baby sister heard me in the room crying or whatever. And my brother came up in there and he was like, he like the fuck wrong with you, the fuck you crying for? You know, you know how brothers be. They don't say shit serious. They always, like, first I thought that bitch ass crying, she like that. But anyway, I think my baby sister went there and told my mama, she was like, mom, this in there crying. So my mom bust up in the room. She was like, what the fuck you crying for? And I was just like, oh. And she was like, what the fuck you do? And I was like, um. Oh. I, I don't know if I told her or not, but I do remember her. She was like, uh, come on, get, come on, get the fucking, get your shit, get the fuck in the car. And I was like, I don't want to see that boy. <laughs> I 
I remember that shit, y'all. I said, I don't want to see that boy. And she's like, Tessie, get your ass up. Call the fuck out. Get your ass in the car. So I got my little ass up. I got in the car. And we started riding around looking for him. And lo and behold, my mama found him. He was walking. At this time, it was dark outside. He was walking over with one of his friends. And she, so brrr, my mama had a Mustang at the time. She pulled up on her, hopped out the car. I'm sitting in the car still crying like a fucking bitch. Like, bitch, why are you crying? Oh, yeah, look at that nigga. But anyway, yeah, she get out the car or whatever, and I don't know what she was saying to him. She was talking to him and she like that. But basically, she had, but I do know what the fuck was going on. Basically, she was like, uh, you got my, you got my daughter out here crying and she, you know, she love you, da, da, da. you supposed to be her best friend. You out here cheating on her with her, her friend. And then she was like, why? Cause, why? Cause this ain't giving you no ass. Cause this ain't fucking you. And she ain't giving you none. And, and she, and the other girl, she probably giving up the cat for you. That's why you doing that, da, da, da. Like, and she was like, don't bring your ass to my motherfucking house no more. And she was like, don't bring my ass to your house. No, don't bring your ass to my house no more. I don't want to see you around no more. And she was like, if I do, I'm gonna run your ass over. Like, she was going off. Like, she was going in. I'm just sitting in the car, like, he deserved it. And he was trying to explain his side. He was like, Mom, I'm like, no, Mom, my ass. You got my daughter here fucking crying. Look at her, she fucking crying. You started doing her wrong. She like that. Uh, and the only reason why my mom was so mad, like I said, because y'all of our relationship, like, when I tell you the boy, you literally used to be at my house every fucking day before we even decided to even think about being in a relationship. Like, that was my friend. Like, so she knew that she hurted me. Like, and she was mad as fuck. Like, <laughs> she was mad as fuck. And she told him, she was like, I'm gonna run your motherfucking ass over. And he was like, stunned. He was too stunned to speak. He couldn't say nothing. But if I am, I don't give a fuck. Like, but I, I didn't want her to talk to him like that and stuff because I still wanted to be with him like at the end of the day he was my best friend I still wanted him to be I still wanted to be with him and stuff so I'm like so I'm like no no don't do that da, 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 da. and he kind of apologized and shit but she didn't care she didn't want to hear this shit so then a couple days go by he had text me hold on y'all I can't yell honey I'm sleeping I'm sorry but let me tell y'all so I just got through boohoo crying about this nigga my mama threatened to run him over she love Told him he's not allowed at the house anymore. All that shit. And why was this nigga saying that? Like, <laughs> like so when my mama took me back to the house, I was in my room texting him. Bitch, your mama just went hard for you. And you gonna start back texting that nigga after your mama just went hard for you like that? And yes, I did. I very much did. <laughs> so yeah, I was texting him and I was just like, uh, I was like, she just mad right now. And all that kind of shit. I like she don't mean it. I'm gonna talk to her and stuff like that. Fast for a couple of days go by. He wanted to come over and stuff. And I was like, Mom, can Pa come over? And she was like, What the fuck did I say? And I'm like, Okay. <laughs> I'm like, But I'm not mad anymore. <laughs> like, 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 please, like that's and that's nothing. That's why you don't put people in your business when you're in a relationship because. You're going to forgive that person. You're not going to be mad. And then your people are still going to be mad. And you're just going to be like. Damn. That's why you don't put folks in your business. But I'm not, I'm not mad anymore. Like, and then. I, and I had just. So I was like. Just come over here. And try to apologize. I see. So he came to my mom's house. Or whatever. And they was talking and shit. And she was like. You still hurt my daughter. Like he was like. She was like. I don't like to see my daughter cry. I don't like that shit. You supposed to be her friend. You supposed to be her boyfriend. Like you. You decided to like her. You decided that you wanted to be in that shit with her. You don't need to do her wrong. Like if you don't want to be with her. Just leave her alone. And he. The typical nigga shit. I'm not going to do it no more. I, I'm sorry. You know. Typical nigga shit. Because he definitely did it again. And. Yeah. But yeah, y'all, so that what happened, and yeah. <laughs> that boy, some serious himself, like, the amount of times that the shit happened, you would think that I was just desperate, okay? But yeah, so he, you know, apologized to my mom. She started letting him come back over there or whatever. Then I ended up losing my virginity to him because I thought that was going to make him stop cheating on me. He didn't. Very dumb. <laughs> I ain't even got to do no story time on it because that basically what it was. Like, 
I feel like, you know, he was talking to other girls because they probably would give him cat and I wasn't because I was a virgin. And I ended up letting him get some cat because I thought that he wasn't going to cheat on me. You know, typical young female she, you know, I thought, you know, me giving him some coochie was going to make him stop cheating on me. It did not work. So, yeah. <laughs> very, very dumb of me because he still was cheating on me all the way up into college. We was together five years. Yeah. But anyways, that's gonna be the end of story time. It's town time. My mama almost ran my boyfriend over with her car. And yes, if y'all want the story time on the time that I broke up my boyfriend for another dude, then let me know. And I will make that video for y'all. But yeah, that's gonna be the end. I love y'all so much. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one.